Welcome back. So far in the series we've discussed dab brushes, air brushes, bristle brushes, particle brushes and wet brushes. We now conclude the series with thick paint brushes. Now Painter has proper thick paint brushes but it also has uh, this pseudo thick paint brush um, or mode which it calls impasto. Impasto is a real-world technique of painting that involves using thick layers of paint on the canvas and we can add this impasto effect to pretty much any brush by ticking this check mark or enabling it up here. As you can see it adds the appearance of thick paint. If we take off the color and change it to depth only you can see the type of marks, I hope you can see this on the video, that it's creating. So you can add um, the impasto effect to almost any brush, even an airbrush. And you can always right click on the layer and click clear impasto if you don't like what it added. And here we get right back to a flat paint effect. So besides impasto, uh, Painter has dedicated thick paint brushes. These are more realistic with a lot more settings. So you can change your brush to a thick paint bristle here in dab type. Scroll down to thick paint bristle. These brushes also use AVX2, so they do tend to be laggy for me, but usable as long as I keep the brush size small, so I've got it at 50. And uh, like the liquid ink and the watercolor layers, they also require a special layer type. So if we just try to paint with this brush on a normal one, this little dialog pops up um, asking us to create a new layer that's compatible. So here it's created a, a thick paint layer. And if you're on this layer, you can adjust the visible depth of the thick paint. Zero turns off the effect and uh, the default is 75. You can't use impasto with these brushes. I suppose that would be overkill, thick on thick. So uh, you can ignore uh, this panel and you'll be working with these three. Brush density controls how many bristles are depositing the paint. Low brush density is like one thick uh, bristle or maybe painting with a paint tube. As the brush density gets higher uh, the brush gets more bristly. The lower the bristling the more evenly spaced the brushes are. The lower the paint the more evenly spread the paint is on said bristles. I don't see a whole lot of difference with the color setting. Maybe a slight smoothness with lower color. Droplet radius is the thickness of the paint blobs. The thicker you make them, the more they're going to blend into one paint stream. And the thinner, obviously, they're going to look more bristly. You can also set this to an expression, like pressure, so that you can go from dry to thick. And if you do, don't forget to calibrate brush pressure sensitivity. So if you press light, it's like a dry brush. And then if you press hard, it's really glooping the paint on. You can also reverse this expression. So now if I press light, it'll be glooping the paint. And if I press hard, it'll go a bit scratchy. I think we've got a pass T set here though. That's interfering a little bit. There we go. Let's turn that off. There we go. So if both brush density and radius are a bit on the lower side, it'll look like you only have a few widely spaced bristles. So you can turn up density to keep the blobs small, but have more of them. Without radius jitter, the paint applies evenly. With high radius jitter, not so much. Spacing is the spacing in between the bristles. So with high spacing, it'll look more like a dry brush. With low hardness, the shadows and highlights are more pronounced. With higher hardness, it just seems like the uh, depth is a bit lower. So flattened paint doesn't flatten the paint. It's kind of like taking something like a serrated knife and scraping it over the paint, at least with fast strokes. With uh, slower strokes, it looks more like a sponge. So over to the thick paint wetness panel. Wetness is how much paint is loaded onto the brush. So if you don't add a lot of paint, the brush runs out of paint quite quickly. You can, of course, head on over to the thick paint media brush and just take infinite paint. 
so the brush never runs out of paint uh, and will look like the level of wetness you chose throughout. If you tick the grain toggle, you can make the paper tooth more jagged so that the paint is affected by it. The plow paint setting seems to deepen the shadows, creating more depth. Onto the thick paint media panel. The paint load is the same concept as wetness. I'm not sure why we have both, to be honest. The rate is how much paint leaves your brush and lands up on the canvas, and you can set it to pressure or give it a jitter if you prefer. So under thick paint there's one more thing I want to show you and that's the dedicated thick paint palette knife. It works just as erratically as the palette knife I showed you in a previous episode but I suspect I'd need tilt functionality to really showcase this. So I guess that about wraps it up. Thanks for watching, much obliged if you leave a like and subscribe.